Hey everyone, thanks for joining Learn to Play Games. My name is Lance, and in today's video, we'll look at a premium set of organizers that are currently on Kickstarter called Goblin Trays. So in this video, I'm going to take you through showing you how these trays work and how you could potentially use them, and then I'll also wrap the video up by giving you my thoughts, both the positives and the negatives. So let's go ahead and get into the video. So first off, let's take a look at these trays. What are they and how do they work? So first off, these are premium trays. What that means is that they are made out of really good materials. You have a flat lining on the inside, and on the outside, you have a scratch-resistant leather. On top of that, they are magnetized, so the magnets in these are very strong, as you're going to see in a minute. And then you can also lay them flat for transport, whether you want to take them to your local game shop or a friend's or just want to store them within the game that you use them the most with. They are stackable, so you can stack them up and they will magnetize to each other. So once they're together, they're not coming apart. And then once you get to where you're going, they snap together really quickly. And you're ready to go within seconds. And then, like I said, they are magnetized, so they are going to hold together really well. Once you get them together, they're not coming off until you pull them apart. And you can store them in a number of different ways, including stacking them on top of each other and in a number of different fashions. So with that, then you have a couple of options. So first off, you can hold cards in them. And there is a pretty good gap in there, as you can see, that you can have cards that are sleeved as well, which is very important for a lot of players. I know a lot of people ask about that with a lot of different things. And so you have that option, as well as on the other side of it, you can flip it around and you can use it as a, uh, a token or <laughs> token organizer. So you can have different tokens in there and it holds a pretty good amount. That's almost a, a full handful. And so you could probably get at least two handfuls in there and still have more room to go with that. And then again, you can have these set up any way you want to, stacking them on top of each other and storing all kinds of different things, whether you have a number of different token sets that you need to store or card sets, you can flip them around and you'll have multiple decks of cards you can draw from, uh, however it is, depending upon what game you're using. And then again, like I said, you can break these down at the end or again, configure these in all kinds of different ways. One of the, the interesting ways that I have with these is something like this would be kind of cool where you can have multiple sets of cards and then the different tokens, and then you have plenty of access to them as well. So lots of fun stacking these and creating different things. And again, they can be broken down and stored away. So from there, let's move into my thoughts. So first off, before getting into the positive and negatives, there's a couple of things that I would be interested in seeing with this, depending upon how the Kickstarter does, of course. So first off, with some of these trays, it would be kind of neat to see a small little band that would magnetize to the sides here, where you could potentially have the cards uh, stored upright so you could stack the trays having them lined up such as something like this. At least for the front one, obviously the back ones, you know, the cards are going to be stored just fine with those. The other thing that would be interesting to see would be a set of these for smaller or a smaller set, maybe half the size, just for tokens. As a lot of the games that I have have a ton of tokens and having all of these out where I would need, you know, maybe six to ten different tokens could take up a fair amount of space with that. So depending upon that, it would be really interesting to see like a small cube set of these that you could use for token sets as well that would clamp together and you could configure in different ways. So from there, let's talk about my thoughts on this. First, the positives. These are really nice trays. I mean, they are really well built. They are going to, it appears to last a very long time. I just got these in, so I haven't had a really chance to test them out and really get them into games yet. But from what I can tell, I would say that these are going to hold up very well, especially compared to some of the other organizers that I have. And they're not going to be damaged by dropping them or knocking them off the table if somebody gets a little more, a little overzealous or whatnot. So they're going to hold up really nice to your games, no matter what you're doing with them. And of course, if you have that friend that is uh, not the cleanliest with maybe some Cheetos or corn puffs or whatnot, these are also probably going to be clean, very easily cleaned off, especially with that scratch resistant leather. So that can be important for a lot of people as well. So, and then, like I said, they are very versatile where you can flip them around using them as card organizers or token organizers, which is really nice. So let's go into the negatives on this. 
So just like with a lot of organizers that I've used, I haven't really found the perfect organizer yet. They are really versatile with this. I love the magnets and being able to customize how they are put together. But on with that, there is a little bit of a drawback as no, whichever way you use them, whether it's the top or bottom, the other half of that basically is wasted space. So if I'm using them as a card organizer on the bottom part of that, that is wasted space or if I stack up multiple ones, say if I have a bunch of cards that I want to have all the different decks stacked up with these, as you can kind of see here, let me tilt this over. You can't see what cards are in there, which is kind of a downside as well. So if I have multiple decks in here, unless I memorize what decks I have where, I won't really know what I have. Now you can reverse these. So if say, for example, you're like, well, what happens if I have a really big deck? I can flip this around and now I have a larger space that can hold more cards in it. And I also have this down spot here where I can see the cards a lot better. So if I need to see cards, I can do something like that. But again, with that, then you're going to take up more space where now I have four organizers that can only hold two decks of cards. Other than that, like I said, if I'm again using it as a token holder, then again, all of this space under here is wasted for the most part. Again, I could have my deck of cards underneath there. So I could have a deck of cards that are underneath there and then I can have tokens. So there's a couple of different ways with that that you could potentially use it where you're not necessarily taking up as much room with these. The other thing is obviously with these, with how big they are, which it needs to be for cards, then you have a lot of empty space where you, if you have a lot of tokens, they're going to take up a, a considerable amount of space with that. And again, depending upon what you're using them for, you might not need as much space. So again, having a smaller set of these might be beneficial as well. I don't know if that's something they're looking at or if they've even considered, but I guess it also depends on the demand with these. The other negative is, again, these are premium, so they are going to be expensive. Right now, for a set of six of these, it is $69 plus shipping, and that is Kickstarter prices, so I don't know what the retail on these are going to be either. I do believe that the Kickstarter is funded at this point, so they are going to be made, and there are hopefully going to be some really interesting stretch goals, so we'll see what they have planned with that. So those are my thoughts. Other than that, I would give these a thumbs up. I do really like these. Again, I, I think that they are really well made and I definitely see some uses for them. But those are just my thoughts. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below as well. Let me know what you think on this, whether this is something that you think you're going to add to your games, why or why not. I'd love to hear from you and start a conversation down below. And until next time, I'll see you later.